you only get one first impression and that is why having a strong elevator pitch is vital. In this video, I'm gonna break down the perfect elevator pitch so you can make an immediate impact within the first 30 seconds of meeting complete strangers or prospects. And there's gonna be two parts to this. Number one, the USP, the unique selling proposition. And then number two, the hero's journey. Now you won't always use both because you'll have times when you literally only have a few seconds to explain who you are and what you do in which then you'll just use the USP. But then there will be times where you have a little more time to elaborate so you can still start the usp and then go into the hero's journey so let's start with number one unique selling proposition this is simply a one-line sentence that explains what you do and the value you'll bring them here's a really simple formula i help target market achieve desired result by doing your solution so for instance here i help sales pros earn an additional hundred thousand dollars a year in commissions by mastering a refined sales process or i help ctos eliminate 100% of their security threats through a proprietary watchdog soft or I help CEOs attract and retain top talent through our employee engagement software. So you can see how simple to understand that is and you should replace those core elements. So whether it's literally in an elevator and someone asks you what you do or a prospect asks you after dropping the USP, it's very clear. And if it's a really solid USP, they may even say, wow, wow how, does how does that work? work? How, do, how, you how do, you do you do that? Now, if you have more time, that is where the next step, the hero's journey comes into play. Now, most start just talking about the features or how great the solution is, the company, etc. That's pretty boring. You're going to lose a lot of interest versus if you tell a short story, it'll hook them in more and they'll be more connected to it. It can also help you take a very complex idea and make it very simple, especially if you sell something very technical. So the way you do that is you start with your USP and then you simply bolt on the story right after. And the story can follow a really simple format I call SPAR, S-P-A-R, the situation, the problem, the action, the result. So let me give you a very simple example. Let's say I sell a sales CRM like HubSpot to industrial manufacturing facilities. Let's say they're typically using Microsoft Excel or Google Sheets to manage prospects, deal flow, forecasting, closing in, all that sales jazz. And I want to shift them from doing that, actually having a CRM so I can do that with a short story on why it's important. So I can start with a very simple USP. I help industrial manufacturers close more deals, improve forecasting accuracy, and improve profitability by leveraging a simple CRM solution. Next, I'll go into the hero's journey. Here's how that might sound. For instance, Bob, the CEO over at Bob's Manufacturing, had a really successful business in the past and grew it from him being the only salesperson to a sales team of 10. When he started the business, he was able to manage all his accounts and process with a really simple Excel sheet. But as he grew and hired salespeople, he started writing the issues of having to manage multiple Excel sheets. On top of that, he had no idea what calls or emails or what sales activities his team were actually doing. They had no system for follow-up or tracking anything except for an outdated list of prospects. But it seemed to be okay as they were still still profitable and growing even though sales casts were always completely off. It was kind of like driving with a blindfold on. Then the recession hit and sales slowed down drastically. But the problem was that Bob had no idea where the issues actually were and what to focus on and to fix. Bob then reached out to us because he knew he had a systemic problem that was leading to his team underperforming. We implemented a simple CRM solution that tracked everything for him. Every single lead, call, email, sales activity, and deal. His team became more efficient and started closing more as a result. On top of that, the forecasting actually went way up as now he had better data to make better decisions. Profits went up and stress levels went down. In fact, the business had grown so much they actually scaled the team to 20 reps and now have two sales managers too. So let's pause now. You can see how I outlined the situation, the problem, action, and results. It's relatable to the person I'm talking with and including drama as part of the hero's journey. Now, side note, the hero is the prospect for taking action, not the salesperson. Also, note that I didn't go into crazy detail about the solution. That's not really the point. The point is to showcase that the prospect took action and then solved a big problem they had and it had some awesome benefits benefits that the audience wants such as closing more profits going up the team is scaling up and stress levels down so you can see here how the slight tweak is so much more powerful than just talking about the solution for instance if i just met you and i'm like hey i got the crm solution it's awesome it'll make you more money and it's cool probably not gonna listen because it feels like a pitch. When you tell it as a story and you include their symptomatic pains, they'll connect with them more and they'll be more apt to listen to the solution. So here's what you do next. Number one, write out your unique selling proposition. And two, write out your hero's journey. You can swap things out to fit you, but this allows you to craft the perfect elevator pitch. Now, if you wanna learn how to handle any closing objection, I'll see you in this next video right here.